Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of the Star Trek walkthrough. Here we go. Whoa! That was a good start, wasn't it? So it's put us back in here. I should have. Ah, oh, I'm out of ammo. Uh. Well, that's strange, isn't it? I think that's what we call a glitch. We are too late. They have taken the Helios device. Sirak. He does not appear to be answering, Captain. Shit. We gotta get that device back. Tomorrow. Do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. We'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo lift, you may be able to intercept them. Do it. Okay. So we need to recover the Helios device. Ah. Stun grenades. This should come in handy. Enterprise, come in. Scotty, check off, respond. You will have a difficult time communicating Ooh. with your crew, Captain. When the Helios device is out of its containment cell, it causes a great deal of interference. Ah, perfect. Looks like it's just you and me, Spark. That seems to be the usual course. Ooh. Okay. I don't think the Vulcan weapon was that effective, to be honest. Here we go. Shall I try using the new pulse thing? Oh, come on. Well, I selected the wrong weapon there, as you can see, and there was no ammo inside it. Oh, it has to cool down when we do the stun. Right. So, use your environment, or the stuff in the environment, to help you. What's in here? Anything special? So we can just lock the door, basically. It's this thing. Oh, this is interesting. Unknown hacking tool. Hmm. Oh right, so that's replenished our ammo. Let's see what's in here. Okay. I believe that water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Oops. Indeed. Yeah, that was bad. How are we going to get across there, do you think? Ooh. I believe 
that water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Yes, we do. Out. Seems simple enough. Indeed. So... I'm assuming if I lift all these up, it we should take find a way the electric out of the water, I hope. But I can't reach that. Without... That room is equipped with extendable electronics bays. Deploying them may provide the route you need. Oh, I see. So... Hmm. The problem is... Spock do it? Oh, he's refusing. Problem is, if I go in there now, I'm going to get electrocuted. I can't put them back down. Clock's ticking, Commander. I don't really want to jump in there. Ah, look at this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nope. Okay, so, yep, you electrocute yourself, there we go. Now, it, water is now an electrical hazard. it looks like it has grab handles, stepping in the water. Get wet and I get so, so indeed. hmm, that didn't work. That water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Indeed. Okay. That was not easy. It doesn't help that the jumping mechanism for this game isn't the best. Oof. Right. Uh, might go this way, actually. Got some nice electrical cables over there. Is he? Huh. We'll get him back. No, the Helios machine must be your top priority. Sirak would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy in danger. Tomorrow, what's the status of the device? They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. I like how he's just casually talking. Uh, right. Hmm. So we're gonna have to jump to this one now. Okay. Almost there. Woo! Across. There we go. So. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there he is. Captain, you have reached another unpowered door. Look around. Can you see any power cells? Where are we going to find another power cell? Perhaps we can retrieve a power cell from a functional socket. Functional socket. That one looks functional. Captain, I think I see a power cell in that laboratory. I'll get us in then. Use the power cell. Captain, look up. Oh, can't really get any more uh, obvious than that, can you? Look up. <laughs> nice that the game gives you quite a few hints. OK. 
Okay, so we can recharge weapons there. Oh, we don't need that right now. What about this one? I think that's the same. Ah! It's the power cell. Don't drop it! I'm doing your job here, Spock. Doors open, let's get moving. Another lift. Right. I think we're about to get ambushed. Possibly. Hmm. Never mind. That could be a problem. Handy. But it's co op. Oh no, my face is burnt out. I thought that was my heartbeat then. Trolls. Oh, he's tough. Uh oh. It's like a Pirates of the Caribbean fight, this. Might be a good time to beam up. Oh, he's moving now. <laughs> oh, I'm sure the uh, few dozen gone that are chasing after you might give you a bit of motivation. Oh, no. Whoa! Careful, Spock.
Oh, so I'm controlling Spock now. Whilst firing this Kirk. That's hey, confusing. Spock. So I just actually looked at a guide because something just wasn't right about this, and it looks like the game's actually glitched. The way we need to go should be through that door over there. Aha! See? You see that target waypoint thing there? Sooner we get you to the med bay, the sooner we can heal that. How frustrating. Oh. Yeah, I think um There are some issues with this game, definitely. Captain, I will not be able to repair your leg and hold off these creatures at the same time. Just fix my leg, Spock. I'll hold them off. Uh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? I assure you that I am not. This may... Ah, damn it! ...hurt. Whoa! I believe you should now be able to stand. Hey, that's good. Let's get out of here. Captain, we must find a way outside. I'm on my way to your location. It is too dangerous. Stay where you are. Is that understood? Tamar! I would assume that she has disobeyed your request, Captain. Not surprised. She is Vulcan. Right. Hmm. That end. So sometimes it shows the waypoints and other times it doesn't. Get this thing open together. Spock, Kirk, this way. These Gorn have completely infested our colony. Whoa. Survive the Gorn reinforcement. I take it there's going to be more incoming. New Vulcan. We cannot allow them to play us. Gosh. Get us out of here. Well, do so. Can you move forward? Feed me. No good. I have a big wall of green dead ahead. Well, can you move back then? Not so much. I don't know what you two are doing down there, but my job involves very complex formulas and precise calculations. Scotty, we're pinned in! Do it now! <laughs> Scotty's funny. Too much interference, I'm cutting it out lock on you. Then we need a 
bigger gun. Scotty, prepare torpedoes, fire on my mark. Oh, wow. Loved you, Captain, but I can't even see a thing down there. I'm gonna need a little help. Then we'll paint you a target. Hi, sir. Mr. Scott, need I remind you that the situation is critical. Time is of the essence. Oh, cool. Fire now! Oh, wow, look at that. Bye bye, gone. Oh, wow. Now that was epic. I don't think the Gorn can top that, really, can they? Uh oh. Being hit, hit. Oh! Come in there. Who beams in behind? Go oh no! Yeah, any time, Scotty. Uh, <laughs> I think we got out there just. Sign on the larger enemy ship. It is Surak. Captain, I would advise mm, a more cautious approach. Noted. Enemy fighters within range, Captain. Captain, enemy ships changing course. They're heading towards us. Phaser backs fully charged, Captain. Ready when you are. Hold weapons fire only on my mark. Fighters approaching in three, two, one. Fire. Ooh. Okay. Oh. This reminds me of the mission from Voyager Elite Force 2. Sorry, Star Trek Elite Force 2. You got to take control of the Enterprise E's quantum Damn torpedo launcher. Taking shots at us. I recommend focusing all weapon fire on its vital points, Captain. Okay. That worked. I'm seeing a dramatic increase in enemy counts. Then let's get this over with. Indeed. Oh, wow. I didn't expect this. Ooh. What the hell are they doing? They appear to be engaging in some kind of suicide mission. Scotty, damage report. Assessing damage, but at first peak she seems to be holding together, sir. But I don't know how much more of this she can take. Jeez, oh, you bastard! Soon, check off, make sure none of them get through. Okay, so looking at the instructions, we have to keep the shields raised. See? So when the attack comes, you raise shields temporarily. Projectiles are doing. So you can target specific things with the tactile thing.
Right. It looks like when you're raising shields, you can't fire. That's interesting. Aha! The attack fighters destroyed. We should easily overtake the remaining vessels, Captain. Hold your fire, Sulu. Take us to full impulse and bring us within transporter range. Uhura, hail the lead ship. Tell them they're about to be boarded. <laughs> That's a relief. I said, hold your fire. Captain, it wasn't us. If I didn't know any better, I'd think they were firing on their own ships. They are creating a debris field with their own people. In torpedo range, sir. Target their engines. I just want that ship disabled. There's too much debris. We can't line up the shot. Then you'll have to do it manually. This should be interesting. Yeah. Oh, cool! I'm controlling the torpedo. Hope I don't miss. Yeah. Woo! This is fun. As long as I don't hit something. Well, apart from the ship, obviously. Here we go. And boom! Did we get him? That's cool. Uhura, get me Starfleet Command. Sulu, set a pursuit course. We're going after them? Full impulse power, Sulu. Aye, aye, sir. Jim. Sick bay is overflowing. We need to get these people to the nearest star base immediately. Sir, the rib is interfering with communications. I can't hail command. Wait, so your plan is to go through a compressing tear in the fabric of space to chase a vicious alien race that we don't know anything about, except they now have a doomsday device, and we can't even call for backup? Perhaps the doctor is right. If we were <laughs> to fail in our pursuit, Starfleet would know nothing of our fate. Entering the rip in two minutes, Captain. We really don't even know what's on the other side, Jim. Power down, Mr. Sulu. Commodore Daniels operates a starbase nearby. He could offer additional support. Daniels? Really? Kind of hate that guy. While I agree with your assessment of his character, Captain, he may be our only option. Tomorrow we will get your father back, I promise. I appreciate your compassion, Captain. But we must focus our energies on retrieving the Helios machine. If the Gorn learn to harness its power... That isn't gonna happen. Sulu, pilot the Enterprise back to New Vulcan. Search for any other survivors and bring them back to this base as soon as you can. Aye, aye, sir. Energize. Right, well, I think I'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.